Good afternoon. Again, it's my dot zone block time. Today's topic is gender selection. Meaning, if I want to have a boy or girl, can you help me to make sure this is going to happen? So, first of all, let's discuss the definition, the terminology, and then I will discuss how this may work out from the medical technology point of view. And I also will discuss who are the, who are the couples who are looking for the gender selection and what is a general uh, application of gender selections. And I'll also talk about success rates and so forth. So gender selection is a long term subject from the very early stage of mankind, we already starting to have a desire, want to have a boy or want to have a girl. And in also, even in the animal husbandry, in the animal reproduction, it is always very desirable from time to time, uh, people will like to have certain gender of the animals. For example, let's take the example as a bovine industry in cows. For many, many, many years, we all know that as a farmer, they would like to have more full bone as a female rather than male because you only need to keep a very few bone to reproduce the herds of cows. Or you can have more cows who can produce milk. But by Mother Nature, the offspring always going to be 50 50 male and female. But from the farm, Farmer point of view, it will be always desirable if they can produce more offspring, female to produce more cows, rather than produce equal number of bulls, which they don't really need many. And also in the many uh, different kind of the society and the hobby for the puppies, they always have a special preference for the gender of male and female. As I mentioned in the mankind, for since the history of the man um, kind, it's always stories about how or people that they desire to have a gender of a preference and come out of many kind of remedies and uh, to have boy or girls. For example, if you look at the ancient history in China or in Egypt, there are many ways to decide to have a boy or girl by doing special calculation of the day, of the month, of the year to practice having regular sex to increase lots of the gender of one way or another. There are many also suggestion to to shower the vagina with different kind of chemicals to create the environment which is more favorable for the male or female sperm to have a gender of their desire. There are also there are special way to have intercourse in the man to be recommended that uh, at a certain time of the, the relationship to the real ovulation time, you have increased also have a boy or girls. There are also many, many ways to eat a different kind of food, different kind of diet, and then, or even the position of the sex may increase the agenda of your choice. All this has been practiced for a thousand years, but none of this method ever proved to work. And uh, in the recent medical history up to 30, 40 years ago, there are many, many ways to select in the sperm to enrich male or female sperm for artificial insemination to have a boy or girl in the human reproduction had been practiced for the last 40, 30 years. Again, with very little success. There is one technique called a microsaw, which is using a special technique to stain the sperm with special antibodies, which is labeled with special fluorescent lights. Then you use special machine to select the sperm based on their speed to enrich male or female, the technique called microsaw. This technique was developed in the United Kingdom. Original idea is also to enrich male or female bull sperm to inseminate the cow to have a high chance to produce cows. So this technique also being applied to the human 
about 15, 20 years ago called a micro saw, and this technique being used to enrich the sperm to probably 85% accuracy. And to my knowledge, in the United States, this technique is still not licensed or approved by FDA, but in other countries, this technique is being used. Today, we talk about the gender selection in the following terminology. Medically, we call the family balance, sex balance, or gender selection. So practically, you want to have a certain gender of the male and female offspring in your family to balance the genders. And the application of this technique for two faults. One, for medical reasons, which you really don't use very often, due to the fact that there is certain genetic disease only inherited by male or female. So by doing gender selection, you can avoid this kind of genetic disease. So this is for medical reasons, which is minority, very, very rare in now society, you need to use this technique to overcome that sex-linked genetic disease. It's not very common. Um, the major application of the gender selection or family balance or sex balance technique is for social econ economic reasons. It's really personal preference or for family balance or gender balance. And the major technique you're using today, the almost exclusively in the United States, is a combination of in vitro fertilization technique with a pre implantation genetic screen test. The purpose to in vitro fertilization, which we're going to discuss in the different blocks, is purely for the purpose to produce a few embryos, which allow us to do the second part, pre-implantation genetic screen test. So you can take a few cells out, and uh, then you can do the different kind of genetic screen test to find out if the embryos are normal, healthy, give you a good chance to get pregnant, Meanwhile, you will know the gender of the embryo. Then you have a choice to the transfer with male or female. Presumably, you have a both gender embryos. So, this is about family balance. And let me summarize what we discussed. Family balance, the current technology used in the United States is an in vitro fertilization together with a PGS, pre implantation genetic screen or the embryo produced in the lab. Uh, in this way, the accuracy of male or female, or you call a sex match rate, is almost 99.9%. .9%. The success rate about being pregnant in this technique is closely related to the age of the female. The younger the lady, the higher chance you'll be pregnant. So it's really, we talk about two different numbers. A, What's the chance this technique can be pregnant, which is related to the female age? If you are 35, 38 years younger, you have an almost 100% chance you have a baby. Second number to talk about how accurate if I choose a male or female, the chance almost 100%. So this is uh, the process. Safety. Is this process going to make the baby have less chance to be abnormal? Absolutely not. This procedure has no increased risk of any abnormal baby as compared with the natural conception. So this is a today's topic about gender selection using in vitro fertilization and a PGS technique in a human fertility clinic and performed by a fertility doctor, or we call an REI doctor. Thank you for your interest on my blog today. Bye.